you have to accept the fact that the government totally wants to provide surveillance on every part of your life. They want to know when you're eating. They want to know if you're eating a cheeseburger, which is very bad because Bill Gates wants you to eat his fake meat that grows in a peach tree dish. So you'll probably get a little zap inside your body and that say, no, no, don't eat a real cheeseburger. You need to eat the fake, the fake burger, the fake meat from Bill Gates. Um, they probably also want to know how embarrassing and utterly ridiculous. Please end the simulation because I don't even know where to start with this. Marjorie, you've already cashed in on all your humiliation credits during your trial where you claimed you couldn't remember up from down. Why are you doing this to yourself? Listen, I know you only have three brain cells fighting for the top position, but come on. I feel like this video is a PSA on why we need to increase the education budget and invest in schools. I feel so bad for the state of Georgia. They deserve someone who will work to improve their material needs and instead they have a person who can't get their head out of la la land. I just want to get through one weekend without being subjected to the stupidity of the right. Unfortunately, Marjorie Thoughtless Green can't help herself. What's even more ridiculous is that last year, Green, Bulber, and Trump Jr. were claiming Democrats wanted to ban hamburgers and red meat. I guess bugging it was the next obvious step? Y'all know I'm not a big fan of meat. I'm a vegan, so don't start no beef. <laughs> but seriously, the US isn't trying to get rid of meat anytime soon. The government spends $38 billion every year to subsidize meat and dairy products. America cannot be America without cheeseburgers and apparently idiotic politicians. What people should be worried about is how much Republicans love to deregulate corporations. Let's talk about the amount of waste they dump into our water and air. Let's talk about the devastating loss of vegetation. Let's talk about the microplastics that are basically everywhere, including our blood. Those are actual problems worth solving, but Republicans block them at any chance they get. Why? Because that's their so-called free market. My issue with Green is that she's talking about problems that don't exist. She would rather sit there and lie about zap-inducing burgers than discuss the very real dangers of climate denial and the lack of corporate oversight. What a joke. A sad, dumb joke that never gets funnier. And here's the punchline. The Republican Party is actively stripping away voting rights from Americans, so we can't even vote to change things for the better. Marjorie Peachtree Green knows she's pushing out disinformation to stoke fear among her base and is relying on the fact that many of them are undereducated. She's taking advantage of them and distracting them from reality because if they understood who she really was, no one would give her the time of day. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen anytime soon. But what we can do is prevent more Marjories from getting into office. There is a red wave coming in November. According to CNN, they write, the Cook Political Report with Amy Walter, a nonpartisan handicapping service, moved 10 of its House race ratings in favor of Republicans and adjusted its predictions of GOP gains in the fall upwards between 20 and 35 seats. I know many of us have been disappointed and let down by Biden and the Democrats. I hate the notion of vote blue no matter who. I want my vote to mean something. What's also true is that we won't have a democracy if Republicans take over. This isn't about being here for a moment. This is about building a movement and progressives can do that a lot quicker if Democrats can keep their power. Thank you all for watching Rebel HQ. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And please, y'all, I'm running out of middle names for green. Give me some ideas in the comment section below.